Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, stressed that the private sector's cooperation in supporting football in Bahrain has significantly contributed to developing the game, administratively and technically leading to attaining outstanding achievements and improving the performance of national teams at the regional and international levels. Based on His Highness Sheikh Nasser's directives, President of the Bahrain Football Association, Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, honored the sponsors of the Nasser bin Hamad Football Premier League, marking the end of the 2019-2020 season. His Highness Sheikh Nasser said that the mission of engaging the private sector within the Bahraini football development system has been successful, as well as to form a strong alliance between the sports system and the sponsoring companies to be an essential part of Bahraini football's achievements. His Highness Sheikh Nasser affirmed that private companies have shown great cooperation with the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, the Bahrain Olympic Committee and the Bahrain Football Association in order to develop football in Bahrain, citing their sponsorship of His Majesty the King's Football Cup and the Nasser bin Hamad Football Premier League for this season. His Highness expressed full confidence that sponsors and the private sector will continue their partnership with the football system in Bahrain in order to meet the aspirations of football fans for more achievements. Under the patronage of the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the President of the Bahrain Football Association Board of Directors, Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, honored the head team who won the Nasser bin Hamad Premier League Championship 2019-2020. On this occasion, His Highness Sheikh Nasser congratulated the head club after the outstanding performance it gave during the league. His Highness Sheikh Nasser stated that the league this year was exceptional as a result of the coronavirus virus but that the determination of the players made it a successful or is a success nonetheless which affirms that Bahraini football is on the right track towards further progress His Highness added that the success of the head team was a result of the club's administration led by Ahmed bin Salman Al Musallam and all the members of the administrative council as well as the technical team who worked tirelessly to provide the team with the best means of success His Highness Sheikh Nasser expresses appreciation to Bahrain Football Association Board of Directors led by Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa for their efforts in organizing the league. He also expressed appreciation to the sponsors of the league, noting that the role of companies, institutions and banks had a positive impact on the league's success. Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa delivered a speech in the concluding ceremony in which he expressed thanks and appreciation for his support to the association's activities and for the efforts of the first deputy president of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and president of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, towards developing the sports sector particularly for Football. He also congratulated Hid on winning the league and commended the role of sponsors and the efforts of the organizational committee. Finance and National Economy Minister Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa participated in the virtual meeting held by the World Bank on investing in human capital in the time of COVID-19. The meeting stressed the importance of continuing to invest in the human capital by refining human energies with the skills necessary to achieve the highest levels of productivity as one of the basic requirements to support economies and global stability in general, especially in light of the current conditions facing the world due to the repercussions of the novel coronavirus COVID-19 pandemic in a way that would contribute to achieving financial sustainability and economic growth. The meeting also urged member states to achieve optimal uh, utilization of available resources and prioritize spending in a way that achieves the interests of individuals. It is to be noted that the World Bank's uh, Human Capital Index 2020 ranked Bahrain as the second top destination in the Arab world to invest in human capital. The Human Capital Index 2020 measures potential productivity in the health and education sector across 98% of the world's population with a focus on the knowledge, skills and health that a child born today is expected to accumulate by their 18th birthday. Bahrain scored 0.65 points, up more than 8% from its 0.60 ranking based on the same factors 2010, four times the global average. According to the report, Bahrain performed particularly well in the field of education ranking first among the GCC countries for academic achievement and among the top five countries globally for the performance of girls over boys in education. Bahrain's ranking in the human 
Human Capital Index 2020 proves its wide-ranging economic reforms, as well as years of investment in education and health care, ensuring that children born today are fully empowered to achieve their potential. During the meeting, the participants exchange experiences and plans aimed at investing in human capital. They also discuss all initiatives that would contribute to supporting economic growth effectively. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 4,300 with 443 recoveries, 490 registered new cases, 142 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 340 are contacts of active cases and 8 are travel related. The Ministry announced 4 deaths due to complications from COVID-19 and expresses its heartfelt condolences to the families of the deceased. The Ministry furthermore urges everyone to adhere to the rules and avoid public spaces when possible.